temperature shift, shift we're having today to a much colder weather may make already cranky joints even more unbearable. We're joined right now by Dr. Nathan Goyle, an orthopedic surgeon with the Innova Joint Replacement Center. Dr. Goyle, are you there? Yes, thank you. It, Glad to be here. Good morning. A good morning. So the question is, are aching joints really aggravated by cold weather like we're experiencing right now? They are. It's, uh, it's like those old war injuries you hear about. People say that they can tell the change in barometric pressure because of them. Uh, achy joints are the same way. Arthritis is the same way. Um, we see an influx of patients as the weather turns, uh, as their hips and knees start to bother them more. So you're ready for the influx of patients, but are you going to be seeing more women or more men? Is it a different age group that's more affected by these joint problems? Uh, osteoarthritis affects most, both genders pretty equally. Um, it's usually an age range of about 50 to 70 years of age, but we sometimes see people in their 90s and sometimes see people in their late 30s. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I did a joint replacement two weeks ago on a patient that was 23 years old for a oh, unique reason. Wow. So it's a wide, range of pay, a wide range of ages. What's the determining factor for doing the replacement, a partial or full replacement? What has to be happening to that person's quality of life before she or he and the doctor says, we've got to get this thing changed completely? That's a great question. Um, I think that the biggest thing is that it's got to affect them on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, hurt them in the morning. Hurt them, you know, think about their joint uh, when they get up in the morning and when they go to sleep at night. Um, and if, if it gets to that point, that's when you should start considering the replacement. Uh, if it's limiting your quality of life, you're not able to do the things that you want to do. You can't, can't walk, can't do the sports that you want to play. Um, it's, you know, it's an operation, so you have to be willing to go through the recovery, the risks, the, uh, and, and go through the physical therapy involved. And then um, if you're willing to do that and it's affecting you enough, that's when you should consider it. Dr. Goyle, what's really amazing is you have these replaced joints and doctors get you up, it seems, almost immediately, at least sometimes the day of the surgery, they try and get you moving that affected joint or even walking if it's a knee. Well, that's the key to the recovery. You know, I, I did the first outpatient hip replacement at uh, Innova uh, Mount Vernon Hospital about a year and a half ago. And um, that has really revolutionized the way we treat joint patients. Our goal is to get you up and walking immediately. Um, the reason is, if we get you walking, we avoid blood clots. Um, mm -hmm. We get you back living in your own environment. People go home the day of surgery, and so they get to sleep in their own bed at night. It's, uh, it's a lot better than staying in the hospital for a couple days and, um, and really making you feel like you're sick. Our goal is to, uh, to mobilize you and make you feel like, hey, you got your joint replaced, but you're back to living your life. We like that goal, Dr. Nathan Goyle. Thank you for speaking with us.